Hey, welcome to this video. We're going to solve lead code problem 326, power of 3. And for those of you new to the channel, my name is Kevin, and this channel is dedicated to solving, well, programming problems you're going to see in an interview setting, right? So if you want to get a job, basically. Anyways, in this problem, we're going to use a while loop. And I'll say while. And what we're going to do is take the input number and kind of shrink it, divide by 3 again and again until it is no longer divisible by 3. And we're going to do that with the modulus operator. So I'll say while n modulus 3 is equal to 0. So while that number can be divided by 3 and give you back a whole number, we're going to divide n by 3. We're going to shrink it by, a, I guess, a factor of 3 because we divide by 3, that kind of thing. So I'll just say n divided by equals 3, right? You can also just say n is equal to n divided by 3. But uh, let's be a little bit more concise and advanced, you could say. And of course, if you like this kind of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out, and it enables me to make more, well, awesome free content. Anyways, we're going to keep shrinking down n by 3. If it's able to be divided by 3 and give a whole number back, and if we keep dividing by 3, so 9 divided by 3 is 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1, well, 1 divided by 3 does not give you back a whole number. So we'll just say return n is equal to 1. That way we know if our number is divisible by 3, or it's a power of 3. Excuse me. So I'll save just the auto format on my code editor, submit the problem, and it's actually not going to solve. It's going to go in an infinite while loop, and I'll explain in just a little bit. So let's actually wait this out. And it says time limit exceeded because the last execute input is 0. So what's going on here? Well, let's assume that our input is 0. So 0 divided by 3 does give you a whole number of 0. So we're going to divide 0 by 3, which gives us 0. And then this while loop goes on forever and ever and ever. This code never stops executing. Hence the time limit, ex time limit exceeded. And we're going to have to handle the edge case of 0. So let's handle that in my code. And again, if you guys like this kind of content, be sure to check out my website, kaeducation.com, where I have full-length courses dedicated to solving uh, more complex lead code problems, data structures, that kind of thing. All things you'll see in an interview setting. Anyways, let's handle the edge case. So I'll say if n is equal to 0, then return just false. Right? This return statement will make sure none of this code runs after it. And, well, 0 is not a power of 3. So I'll save, we handle our edge case, and submit, and we pass the test. So the time and space complexity of this problem is O of log n, because if our input number increases by a factor of 3, we only have to do one more division operation, right? So if our input increases is multiplied by 3, we just do one more operation. So it's logarithmic with a base of 3. Space complexity is O of 1. We didn't create a new array or a new JavaScript object right, to solve this problem. And that's it for this video. And again, be sure to like, comment, subscribe for uh, new future videos. And yeah, see you guys later.